Hello Galactic Family. Welcome, brothers and sisters of Surface. We now will give you an energy assessment, a vibratory report of the Earth. Since the beginning of this terrestrial year, we largely have work with the preparation of the grids in connection with the planetary rise. Henceforth, and since the end of the summer, the planet is ready to climb. A certain number of revolution of these grids are in hand. It misses nothing anymore but the human goodwill. What we call awakening a big number of hearts to carry out this passage. What I want to say by there it is that all is ready with the level of the intraterrestrial grids, on the level of the magnetic grids. We await nothing anymore but goodwill human, the will of rise of humanity in a percentage which will make it possible to carry out this jump. There exist not planetary but cosmic opportunities which are set up before the end of this year. What does not want to say, that, obligatorily and necessarily, the Earth will climb at this time there. Nevertheless geomagnetic and geocosmic alignments will be in perfect alignment in this end of this terrestrial year. It is about a vibratory opportunity, which one calls door of the stars, which will put in total alignment the solar system and the whole of your planets with the center galaxic. This period represents a rise appropriateness but also starting from December 15th, manifestation the maximum appropriateness of the people which you call extraterrestrial in your skies. That will depend on the wish, of the prayer if you prefer, of the human collective in favor of this appearance. As you know it, the elements as you had announced certain masters in liaison with you are henceforth in full phase of demonstrations of regenerating nature. The belt of the Pacific on the level of the volcanoes and thus of the element fire has entered in activity for a few weeks and will continue its awakening. The element water is omnipresent and is spirit to modify the conformation of the grounds at any speed thing which you always do not know by your information means. That wants to say that you really returned in a phase of transformation. The duration, the importance and the severity of this transformation will be function of the capacities of answer of the whole of the people of surface. As for us, we completed and concluded, as long as to make may be, the preparation of the terrestrial cord to this revelation. It belongs to you in the weeks, even the few years which remain you in this dimension, to put order and to put to you in agreement with your major aspirations and not the aspirations which from you the company and your close relations await. It is essential that in the space of time which remains you you are completely in agreement with the major wishes of your heart as for the course of your life, right now in this dimension. The setting in conformity of your course of life with your plan of life that you programmed before incarnating you is today more than ever desirable in order to at the proper time allow a possible rise, with or without the body. It belongs to you today to decide, to take the resolutions which will bring the full freedom and the full expression of your heart. No element external, that it is of an emotional nature, geographical financial, personal as personal suitability must block the full blooming of your life plan. It thus belongs to you to slice, to change what must the being in order to as well avoid to the maximum the inexorable periods of confrontation with the companies as with the elementary aspects geographies which will go sense the visible and tangible demonstration of your elements but as well on the quality of your means of transport and food. You must find the tools allowing you to realign, to center you and find your spiritual heart. No concession should not intervene. You must show and show your determination, your firmness to be reached this divinity. It was often known as that the tree will be judged with its fruits. The tree is not external and the fruits are those which you carry yourself and these fruits have as a name honesty, accuracy, joy serenity and peace. You must seek that at all costs. The earth, the elements, 
will sweep those which are not able to conform to their objectives and plans of life. There is no punishment there inside, there is simply a setting in conformity of the divine laws with the human one. It belongs to you to choose between a life of desires and experiments or, and I say well or, a life connected to the source and a divine life. There are no possible compromises on the levels individual, group social, ethnos groups, countries, continents. The sword of truth is already cut down on you, it corresponds to the profound change of the distribution of water and the richnesses. I hear richness not what you call money, which does not exist in the fifth dimension, but well the distribution of the food richnesses and the richnesses of heart, which allow, alone, to maintain the life, whatever the dimension. You are in face of choices, with confrontations, decisions that you only can take whatever the revealing of the plan by the extra or intraterrestrial people, whatever their emergence in your reality of the third dimension, nobody will be able to take the step in your place. You return in what many human beings will call elementary turbulences, financial, social, economic and, in the foreground, food. The upheaval of which you are the object is not inescapable. It belongs to a small era of transformation necessary occurring to each end of cycle. There is no catastrophism, it is no destroying vision, there are arrangement, readjustment and setting in conformity. Thus, certain people will undergo the hunger, certain people will undergo water, certain people will undergo the cold, certain people will undergo fire, certain people will undergo all that. Only the way in which you are aligned, centered will enable you to direct this additional surge inside your body. Often, very often in this world, you sought in your linear time to know dates. It on there no more dates since you have been in the dates for a few weeks and a few months. You are inside what was called in your book crown reduced times called two times, half of a time and a time which corresponds to the period of two years and half. That is not in ten years, it is now. The decisions for your future will engage your heart for a 50.000 year cycle minimum. Your choices will be final. It is not a question of a warning statement, because nobody, whatever the choice, will judge your heart. Each heart was born and remains free of its choices. There is no judgment, no scale of value to all that. Only a time ago which is there and which imposes, from geomagnetic and geocosmic modifications, to establish the certainty of your choices and to hold you to with it. I repeat it, that is not in a week or a few years, that is now and you are in this now. If you do not see the things like that, if you do not want to see what changes, do you put the question of which is what resists, in you, with the change? But the earth already changed, the upward grids are already in place. The modification of the elements beats full sound and that will be the case in the months which come until the end of the year 2008. These climatic upheavals are registered in the history of the cycles of humanity and occur at regular periods in the history of this planet. They are not related to any punishment, evolution, involution terrestrial, human but well with a cosmic ballet of the skies where the planetary spheres are put in resonance with the central sun one could compare that, if you want, with the frog which is in cool water and water heats gradually. The frog lets itself scold. It did not become aware that the environment changed. The experiment could be made in the other direction. The temperature of water drops gradually. Water freezes and the frog is frozen. You are in the situation where you must align yourselves in the project of your heart to perceive, to feel in truth the changes which are already there. Do you want to be extracted from the magma or to accompany the magma? But there cannot be half measure. Either you change bottle, or you remain in the bottle. 
the decision to take because, while leaving the bottle, why it is difficult another bottle? All descriptions which I could make you of the intraterrestrial worlds of the fifth dimension with the body would be only descriptions. I could, as I learned the word, to make you publicity, advertisement but that would not be that advertisement. Why it a bottle apart from this bottle? Why does not have any that one, why has several of them? But it is necessary, for that, to agree to be extracted from its bottle. You are in the situation of frog, you are immersed in a reality which changes. As opposed to what you believe collectively it does not have there before and after, at one moment t. That will be the case only at the time of the swing in the upward sphere but before you be in the bottle and the changes, even if they accelerate, you are not of it even more aware. Imagine simply that you can be extracted from the environment in which you live and you rep longer in the environment of your terrestrial time 20 years behind. You would discover a joy, serenity, haven of peace. Imagine that one gives you in this time present. You would be bombarded waves known as negative. You would be thrown into a panic by the vibratory change of atmosphere and yet, even if you feel it or have a presentiment of it, you still did not leave the bottle. It is on this vision, this aspect metaphorical, that I would like that you meditate reality that you live is absolutely more same as that of 20 years ago and yet you have the impression that the things almost did not change. But there is a world of vibration between this ground of there are 20 years and this ground of today. A person who would have left this ground there is 20 in which would return there could not live there and yet live there you. The involved forces exploited all the adaptation of the human being to the modifications which have occurred in a progressive way. Today you must awake completely. As for us, we are serene. The earth is ready, the magnetic grids are ready. We entirely rely on the divine will for each one. Each being will be in the place which it chose, freely, completely. Here are some information which I wanted to share with you. If you have interrogations I want to try well to answer it. Question starting from which proportion of people this rise could be done? It is not a question of number but of level of conscience. It is enough to 100 being human which touches an extremely high level of conscience which supported the swing. There can be 10 million waked up beings. They will not be enough to ensure the swing. It is a question of quality of awakening. That does not amount of many people. There is the fundamental error. Question is this quality of awakening reached today? You are there, still. The answer is very given. Question which would be the best means of reaching this quality of awakening? I believe that you received vibrations of a large goddess who made you approached what is the totality of the awakening NDRMA and MOYI. It is not enough, indeed, to want to define you new paradigms, to say I will eat biological, I will live in a house to the ecological standards, I go to the church the every day, I go up in vibration the every day. The best awakening is that which relates to the adequacy between your heart and the demonstration of your heart in incarnation. Vibratory quality is at this level there and that requires to be in justice, the truth, to flee the lie, to flee the duality, to flee contradictions and confrontations. Not to flee to run away itself but to solve them, it is the term more adapted. Question and isn't these moments of passage, the mental one an enormous break? All depends by what is fed what you call mental. If the mental one is fed by your emotions, indeed it will be a break. If the mental one is fed by the energy of the ego indeed it will be a break. If the mental one is fed by the lit thought, in other words by the heart, at this time there it will be a help. You receive for one period of the lesson on the attachments, 
the detachment and the control, I return you to those. Question why a it a crystal more specific to the current evolutions? There are thousands of crystals. This question does not have a direction. You are in resonance, at every moment of your life, according to your various functions, with several hundreds of crystalline vibrations. Question in the third dimension we exteriorize the thought by words and they is false. The words are the translation of your mental and not of your thought. There is an enormous distance between your thought and your words. The real thought can be collected only by the thought and not by the words. What I call the thought is simply to put forward a thought. The mental one is a construction which is not a thought. Question in your dimension thus the thoughts are put forward and and collected by the whole of the community. There cannot be interpretation. A thought is a thought, it is a wave train. A wave is a wave, it does not carry to interpretation, contrary to the language which is another form of waves which passed by the mental filter of another person. A primary wave cannot be modified within the framework of the thought. What is systematically the case within the framework of the language? It is what you call your frames of reference and your operating process is psychological. Question what don't you call point central of God corresponds so that we call divine source? Not completely. That is more complex. That is except subject for the moment. The source, for you, is the intra ground in the sun. It will be time now that I regain my spaces. Receive my fraternal greeting. Receive the greetings of the intraterrestrial people. And especially what I can say to you it is good choice. Your sincerely dear brothers and sisters.